We've been talking Leeds United, not the best start to any season. A draw at the weekend, then last night uh, a, a home defeat to Middlesbrough in the Carabao Cup. Change the record, Jim, says Danny. Your relentless pursuit of managers' heads. No, not true, not true. Um, it's far from the start that Daniel Farker would have wanted. And uh, the, the signs are not good, Danny, whether anybody likes it or not, that mid-August you're booed off at home. So what next? And also, regarding players, what next? Archie Gray has gone. Crescenso Somerville is gone. Nothing much Daniel Farker could do about that. And now there's news this morning that uh, Georgino Rutter could well be heading to Brighton for £40 million. We shall see about that. Kevin, good morning. Big Leeds United fan. Where are you with all of this, Kevin? Morning, guys. I, I can't believe what I'm hearing, if I'm being honest. Leeds fans calling for the manager's head after two games. I mean, they need to give the red a check. 90 points last season, just missing out, and with two games in. I think last night's disappointing. There's no denying that. But last night was the first round of a Carabao Cup, and what round to go out better than the first round if you're not going to go on to win it? And we ain't going to go on to win it. So that'll benefit us through the season with less games played. Yeah. I think second of all, last night was an opportunity for our reserve team and fringe players to make a name for themselves, and they bottled it. We had a 20-minute spell where we conceded three goals. We didn't have time to react. The subs came on. And before that, the game was even in the first half. And after the subs came on, it was even. It was a 20-minute spell. It showed our reserves and fringe players aren't good enough. And finally, regarding Ruta, I think the best thing 49ers can do is go and offer the lad a new contract with a better get-out clause next season if we fail to go up. Pump some money and give Rue to the money because you are not going to find anybody that's going to join the club in this league with more quality and potential than Jorginho Rutter. And I think that would be a brilliant signing if we tie him down with a new contract, which has been rumoured when I'm talking about some it. Really, so. Some really good points. I mean, the, the, the thing is, even this early, Kevin, though, you've you got to hope that something changes and quick because you're losing key players, right? Um, no, like I say, Somerville was always going to go. Archie Gray is a future talent. He was played out of position, so we lost an 18-year-old right back effectively because he weren't playing in his favourite position. And we got good money for him and got road on him, which is brilliant business looking yeah. at where we are as a business. So you stick with so Farka no, and think you think it'll, think it'll improve? Yes, it's going to improve. It's just the first game was just mental if you watch it. And last night was an experiment that went wrong. Everyone just needs to settle down. It is a long season. Final point, Southampton last season lost the first seven games. And look what they went and did. Give it time. We have a leading club to show you what manager change and the Massimo bloody Cellino did. And it doesn't work. Let this man do his job and judge him at the end of the season. Because if we fail to go up, it's mission fails. Barker, we try something new. Not too here. Good points, Kevin. Thank you for that. Simon, points and well-made points as well. Yeah, just a sensible... Somebody cares about his ob club. Observation. Yeah. yeah. I mean, whether, I mean yeah. ultimately, you would expect Farker... Um, to get Leeds promoted, irrespective of the challenges that they have. And that's the job he's been given. So if he doesn't do it two years in a row, irrespective of getting 90 points, Ipswich came and got promoted. Ipswich didn't have the resources and the yeah. opportunities that Leeds did. And Ipswich got automatic promotion. Leeds should have been automatically promoted by the nature of the squad that they had. But I do think he's absolutely right to give context to the ridiculousness of instantaneous micromanagement of an outcome. Two games in, a meaningless League Cup game. Yeah, James, well, well, well done to Middlesbrough, by the way, who should be given the plaudits oh, yeah. for doing a decent job up there. And quite a number of Borough fans um, uh, pushing us to, to to get that on air about how well Middlesbrough did last night, and they did. But James is a big Leeds United fan. Do, do you go with Kevin, the previous caller, James? Give him time. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. He's a great manager. Yeah, he's a great manager. I'm fully, fully, fully behind my manager. I just feel that he, he's a bit of a scapegoat. He's getting blamed for players going and coming in. He has no control over this. We all know that managers don't make decisions anymore on on players coming in and stuff. It's, it's the board. We've got we've got this Red Bull sponsorship. We've got this new board. They've got to prove to us what they're going to do with us. They're, what are they doing? Are they going to pump money in or are they just going to sell all the players? What are they doing? That's what I want to know. Yes. Uh, do you understand a, a smallish element of the support booing last night, James? I think that's. I just think that's a bit pathetic. If I'm honest, I'm not. I'm not mm. really. Mm. I'm not into that. I'm not into that. I don't care if we lose five 0 to Bromley in the FA Cup. Get us out of both cups. I don't want to be in them. We ain't going to win them. Get out. 
I just want to focus on the league, get back up in the Prem. I don't care about the Cups. That didn't bother me last night. I watched every game. I didn't want to watch it. Couldn't care. Because that didn't... I, I don't care about the Cups. Sean, really uh, uh, James, thank you for that. Sean's another Leeds fan. Sean, do you care about the Cups? Or is it time to move on, just concentrate in getting out that championship again? Good morning. Good morning. I do think the League Cup is, is a nothing cup. I, I'd, I'd be more concerned about the FA Cup. Uh, but yeah, I fully back Parker, agree with what the other two Leeds fans are saying. My point would be that the 49ers have got to take some responsibility here. They haven't just come in. They've been at Leeds for a little while now, and they were nearly half percent. They nearly owned half the club before Radziani sold it to them. Yeah. So you're not telling me that they weren't involved in some of these um, deals. They're supposed to be great negotiators. I've not seen it yet. So I think we need more players in. I hope Georgie stays. But if not, if we get £40 million for him, he's a lovely lad and I really love him, but I wonder if he might struggle a bit in the Premier League. But they have got to step up now. Um, I'm not even going to talk about Red Bull. I think that's a disgrace to have them in our club. But 49ers have got to step up for me and do something now. OK. Interesting, Sean. Thank you very much indeed. Um, uh, Sean decided to put the pressure on the, the the big investors at Leeds United, Simon, and wants to see a bit more from them. I mean, it's early yet, but sure, they are at the helm of the football club. Yeah, I mean, the transactions that are going on, if players have got release clauses in their contracts, which is, you know, it's nothing to do with negotiation, it's the reality of the real world. When you have players of potential with agents that are doing what I would say laughably is their job, um, they will put clauses in contracts that uh, that players will want and need because otherwise they won't be signing contracts with the clubs that are actually offering them a contract in the first place. So if someone's got a release clause of 40 million quid for a championship footballer um, and yeah. the release clause is met, that has nothing to do with ownership inadequacy or poor uh, structure. It's the reality of the world of football and how much balance has shifted towards the players and the agents rather than the football clubs. Now, how they've redeployed that money, I mean, they've they've spent money this summer, haven't they? Yeah. They've not spent money. They've not not spent money. They've spent money. Um, and we're two, we're two games in. And we really are two games in. And that's it. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.